Hello, world. Welcome to episode 156 of the Jimmy Can Show, classic supercard retrospective. Let's take a look back at WCW's Japan Super Show 2. All righty. <clears throat> so, obviously, this was a WCW event. Uh, actually, it was a co-promoted event between WCW and New Japan. Uh, it took place, actually, on January 4th, 1992, uh, from Tokyo, Japan, from Tokyo Dome. But it did not air on pay-per-view until March of 1992. Uh, there were 50,000 people in attendance. Action was called by Jim Ross, Tony Schiavone, uh, Bischoff acting as host. Uh, only going to discuss those matches uh, that aired on the uh, North American pay-per-view broadcast, which is six matches. So let us get into it. And I'm going to apologize <clears throat> Excuse me, right now. Or probably my butchering of the pronunciation of some of these Japanese stars' names. So, uh, the first contest that actually aired on the pay-per-view was a six-man tag team contest. This is actually the second time uh, that we open up with a six-man contest in the Super Show. Uh, this time, though, it is all New Japan talent uh, as the team of Akira Nogami, uh, who faced Liger in the previous year, now teams with Jushin Thunder Liger, along with uh, Masashi uh, Oyagi, to face the team of Hiro Saito, Super Strong Machine, and Nario Onaga. Uh, baby faces get the win in this one. Great contest. Um, you know, with these Japanese uh, combatants, uh, you know, like I said, it's just a style of wrestling, very commonplace nowadays, but not uh, what, you know, the American audience was used to seeing uh, at that point in time. So it was just a very refreshing uh, type of match to see for 1992. Uh, next up is a tag team contest. Uh, the Enforcers, Double A Arn Anderson, uh, teaming again. Uh, you know, at the in the tag team match, I should say again at the Super Show this time, uh, with the Cruncher Larry Zabisco as a mem members of the Enforcers facing the du duo of Michiyoshi Ohara and Shiro Koshinaka. I think I got that right. Um, so you know the uh, WCW contingency. Uh, gets the win in this one. Uh, pretty, pretty solid match. Uh, you know, but what do you expect? I mean, you get two great workers uh, in Zabisco and Arn. And I mean, I don't think, I'll be honest with you, that I've ever seen a Japanese star that can't perform. Um, so we're three matches into the, uh, the pay-per-view and we have another uh, multi-man match, another tag team match, uh, the father-son duo of the American Dream, Dustin Rose, Daddy, teaming with his son, the natural Dustin Rose, to take on the duo of Masa Saito and Kim Duke. Um, So uh, the father-son tandem gets the win here. Uh, now we finally get uh, a singles match uh, on the pay-per-view broadcast. Uh, this is just really a attraction match. You know, Japanese audience not accustomed to the larger uh, Western um combatants we get the big um confrontation here between uh the seven foot seven inch el gigante uh, as he faces big van vader um this one goes to actually a double disqualification um so a little anticlimactic uh, result in this one. Uh, next 
up uh, for the WCW World Championship uh, as New Japan's Masahiro Chono challenges the total package Lex Luger. Um, you know, no shocker, uh, Luger retains here, obviously, uh, as Luger has already defended and lost the world title to Sting by the time this is actually broadcast. Like I said, this was filmed in January. Um, and then at Super Bowl, Luger drops the title. So obviously he needed to win to have the title <laughs> for the Super Bowl uh, event. So there you have that one. And then last but not least on the pay-per-view was a tag team contest. Uh, Last Japan Super Show, it was Sting against the Great Muda. This time, it is Sting teaming with the Great Muda. Uh, you know, the former rivals become partners, and they take on the Steiner brothers. Um, uh, it's only 11 minutes. Um, you know, I would think with these four, uh, this could have been, you know, at least a 20-minute uh, if not 30 minute match, uh, you got, you know, four iconic competitors here, four hall of famers here. Um, but as, as you, you know, seen throughout this show, for the most part, WCW has been, uh, getting the wins. Um, you know, this is a mixed duo with one WCW and one New Japan combatant taking on two WCW guys, but they kind of give the rub to New Japan here a little bit uh, as Sting and Muda pick up the win in a burner of a contest. Like I said, I wish it had been longer. So, um, you know, in terms of uh, Hall of Fame involvement for this show, um, you know, decent representation. Uh, you had, you know, Dusty, Arn, Zabisco, Sting, um, Liger, uh, both Steiners, Vader, and Muda. So uh, pretty, pretty, you know, solid representation there. I mean, Jim Ross on commentary is another Hall of Famer, as well as Bischoff as the host uh, being another uh, Hall of Famer. So, um, you know, I think it was a little anticlimactic uh, show for the most part. Uh, like I said, you're not furthering any feuds uh, here with this particular show. Um, all good quality matches. Um, on my 10 belt scale. Um, you know, like I said, the, the quality of the matches here were all really solid. Um, but, you know, th there's no... No story, um, you know, wrestling is part athletic and spectacle and part story. So, you know, that's going to hurt it. Um, some, uh, not to mention the tape delay um, and everything kind of hurts it. I'll be honest with you. Um, you know, there's no real sense of intrigue uh, in the Luger Chono match, uh, you know, on, on two folds. Um, you know, with with the tape delay and the fact that you know Luger had the belt going into um, Super Bowl in February, you know he's going to have to retain here. So, you know, even though that these were all solid matches uh, in terms of in ring work, you know those things along with lack of any real story uh, here knocks this thing down a couple of pegs. But like I said, the overall quality of the matches was fantastic. Uh, so out of 10, uh, I'll give this really a very, very solid, uh, very solid eight out of 10. So there you have that, um, uh, next classic, uh, retro, uh, that we will discuss will be none other than WrestleMania eight. So after, you know, three consecutive uh, WCW retrospectives. We're finally going to give a WWF one. So uh, tune into that. Uh, and hopefully um, you are all doing well. Give the channel a like, a share, a subscribe. Take care of one another. And I will see you all when I see you.